tries to get a bite of food. Does he? She said every time she goes around the hay elevator, he tries to get a bite of food. <laughs> He's thinking about it. Look at that boy. I'm excited to ride. I haven't ridden in so long. Since probably April. No, maybe May. April, I think. Three months. My, my thighs are gonna be dying tomorrow. So she keeps clicking because she's so used to not going this fast. This is the speed that Storm likes though. This is a perfect school pony. Like this is a perfect speed, I think. Like he looks gorgeous. The kid can figure it out, learn how to do their rising. But she keeps clicking to make him go faster and he gets mad at that. So you know bad things happen when Stormy Boy gets mad. <laughs> And Gabby's still really protective of him. She just told Sophie that she has to put her hands up more. Not Gabby gives everybody who rides him rules. This is a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work? After I yesterday? Look at now all of our horses are shy. <laughs> no, he just does not like to walk. Yeah, he's... It took me a year and a half to real... How long have I had him? Been? A year and a half. It took me a year and a half to realize that he's so lazy. He is a lazy horse. He's definitely a lazy horse, he's but... He's a bigger stride to make up for it. Yeah, so. he's got a bigger stride, but rather push than pull. And, and, and that's, um, and that's why Brandon, he, he is like squeezing him really hard. Yeah. Um, to make him go? He's Mom. practically like kicking him. You gonna try with that or what? Alright. See you later. Yeah. You were tall, I looked up From where I sat, wished I wouldn't dressed up Your first line, won't forget So is it true, no one's taking you yet I remember people, staring as we step Let's all be proud of Gabby, she's wearing a t-shirt She wears winter clothes in summer and summer clothes in winter. Yeah, that's how I raised them. So when I had my boys, I spent a lot of time like training them to be exactly like everyone else. Like this is what society, whoa. <laughs> this is what society expects for you to do. So this is what you have to do. And then when I had my girls, I was already past that. And I realized that the big lesson in life a is- at the bit which fit did you use? D-ring. That's just a regular snaffle D-ring? So when I had the girls, I realized by that point, because I was a lot older, I was 40 when I had Sophie, I learned that I needed to teach them to, to be at their... Is this the speed you like? To, to move to the beat of their own drum and to not do what everything that society says that you should do, that you should do what makes you happy and to do what makes you comfortable and to do what you like. And I don't mean to do that to spite other people and that you should always take into account other people's feelings and always be kind, but I want them to grow up knowing that they can make all their own choices and within reason and that they can make a lot of decisions in their own life, again, within reason. They both have bedtimes, they both have school work times, they both have responsibilities, and they both have... And they both have rules. Just so lazy! And a lot of leg. had only one goal Give me all for your mind I was no good they said You could do much better And I really do notice a huge difference. I, my whole plan was that if someone said something mean or rude to my kids about them living their own life, they would be so confident in themselves that they'd be able to recognize that that was somebody with their own issues saying things about them and that they'd be able to reject that and realize that they're amazing just the way they are. And I wish that for all of you. Look at that boy. Look at him go. So uh, you guys know she was using a different uh, bit, a uh, miler bit with Fiona and it really helped and now she's back in her regular snaffle and it's made and it's and it's he's doing really well on it 
and she was just saying to me that it's like how if you school in one bit and then you go to a like the mile and then you go back to the snaffle then it really makes a difference One of my friends told me that when she sees Storm Cantor like this, she thinks he's lame. But he's not. He's doing a western. It's a lope. He's doing a western lope. That's what, been, that's what Stormy's favorite <laughs> movement is. We stick to each other. We're free. We still dream of what we could be. You still... And even though it doesn't look beautiful, to me anyways, even though it doesn't look beautiful, it is so comfortable to ride. Like, I can even canter him. He's good, he's not taking long. <laughs> he's good. Now that we've come so far They're going nuts about how happy we are See the bond that we made It all seems real now that I'm not afraid And we really got them Yeah, we sure did ride it out Cause we have each other That's what it's all about I was no good, they said You could do much better Hey, Storm. All right. You all set? Yeah, watch out. <laughs> I hate this saddle. I forgot about that. Look at how slow he goes for me. He was going even slower for me. No, oh, he's a babysitter pony. He's a babysitter horse. Take Laura an hour to get around the arena. Probably the first time Flora's been on a horse for a while. Oh, except for the Pasifino horse. No, but she wasn't on the Pasifino horse recently, so probably months. Crash. There's gonna be a crash. Okay, so he just started going all on his own. Yeah, because he was coming home. Don't let him come home. Well, it was kind of nice though. <laughs> Yeah.
in a canter. We gave it all, we gave it all. Canter. Laura's gonna try and canter, maybe. No. Nope. Put your hands forward and kiss the that leg. No, I didn't put my hands forward and. You're like one or two more tired than me. I'm thin. Help me! Help her! Go help her! Gotta be here. Go help her! Let go of the horse and go help your mom. He didn't even do anything. He tried to fold and he tried to buck. That trailer was losing the tire on the road. He tried to run off. He tried to run off and then he tried to buck because I was trying to stop him. All the horses are watching over there. All the horses. They thought, oh, let's go watch the show as Storm takes off. I love yeah. how nobody comes to save me. Well, you you have to control your own horse, man. My horse was spooked. Well, you have to control him when he's spooks. It's good practice for when you ride a horse that spooks. Good practice. Now that that scariness is over with, uh, Stoopy's gonna ride Chino for a bit. Laura's trying to canter. Laura's trying to canter. I was actually watching the truck as it was driving by, seeing what was falling off of it. The, the um, wheel guards were coming off that trailer and making a noise, and it was gonna fall off. It's probably fall off. It's probably on the road now. That's what he's on Chino, and is it metal or a piece of plastic? Well, I think it's a wheel thing from plastic wheel thing. Alright. Summer's actually freaking out because they're loud motorcycles. I don't know if you can hear them in the background. Yeah, they are pretty loud. Storm freaked out about that too. Doesn't like loud sounds. Anyways, we got Gabby on Storm and Sophie on Chino. Snacking's forever and so does me and you Yeah.
See the jumper horse. <laughs> Gabby is seriously considering taking Storm in a jumper competition. I think he's too slow, but she says she can make quick turns with Storm because Storm is a quick turner. Even though he's slow. See like all those quick turns she just did. And I'm curious to see if she can do it. What do you think? Comment down below if you, if you think Gabby should take Storm to a uh, jumper show. What do you think? Want to take Storm to a jumper show? Kind of. Think he'll do it? Uh, the only thing we're good at is not refusing jumps and doing tight turns. You'd have to do cross rails? I would do two, two foot. Okay, well now that is how Stormy Boy goes. Even when Sophie and I try and exercise him, we never do a good job. He loves his girl. He wouldn't have been scared if she was on him. Oh, he likes you, Soph. What I should do is get a bunch of cans and see making noise. Yeah, so when I'm not on the horse. So you guys can practice <laughs> when he wants the buck. Okay. You gonna canter him? Are you gonna canter? No. I can try. Oh, I'm sure you can. Can you do that at home? No, I need to um, do some work at home. Her doesn't like it when she knows better than him. He loves you, Gabby. That boy loves a girl who knows how to ride him and doesn't force him and doesn't push him. Isn't he nice? Nice? This horse loves her. He performs for her. He tries to look fancy. He does all his fanciest things for her. She just sits on him and he does anything she asks. Don't you know that